Hello everyone, uh, this is our third monthly update video of the year, which will be covering everything that has been made in February. Before we start, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support that we've been receiving on our Discord, YouTube and Patreon, it means the world to all of us. As uh, we will be going through the four updates this month, starting with Code, followed by Dragon, World and back to Code once again, um, we will start with Dragons, going to Creatures, then to World, and then finally with Other, and then finishing off the video. So, as usual, we'll be starting off with the Dragons. We have managed to finish our dossier for the Notura, which is one of the var based dragons that will be included in the full release of the game. Up next, we've decided to work on our UI, which will be used uh, for the customization that we have planned for our tech demo slash pre-alpha build. This is not yet in-game, but should be over the next few months. As per our planned, uh, Sorry, as per our announced plans, we have begun to work on our crowdfunding backer skins. These will be available during the funding period of our Indiegogo or Kickstarter and will never be able to be purchased again. So far, we've worked on the £5 tier, making uh, inspiration from our beloved mascot, William. Then we have our £10, which has been nicknamed Nocturnal. Um, I believe this was shown off in the past, but thought that we could just add it again. Finally, we have the £30 tier called the Gilded Obsidian, which personally, so far, is my favourite out of all of them. As shown in the Lunar New Year video, we have designed the first stretch goal dragon, which will be added if we hit our future goals in the future. If you want an in-depth explanation of the dredge luck, head over to our Lunar New Year video. The IG crown needed some TLC, so we decided to give it uh, some new updated fur, which looks far better than the previous type. We also updated the ice breath ability, making it look far better than the original recolored fire breath. Our friends over at OmniSound have been working on many new sounds. I'll not mention them all now, but here are a few as an example. New turning dragon statues were made, which will eventually uh, be spread to all dragons, which we could also in the future use for loading screens, uh, which could be interactable collectibles in game or maybe an encyclopedia for all factions and dragons alongside the dragon dossiers finally we have the new scent system which is currently a work in progress but it does work showing off the direction of corpses fruit slash berries and water sources Moving over to creatures now, Ek and myself worked on the Black Death from a cube up until its current model. This was over one stream and then some tweaks off stream. This would be the last thing added to the tech demo slash pre-alpha, so this will not be worked on for a few months, but just know that it does exist and it is here. A new scathe skin was added, uh, as it has not had anything really done cosmetically um, to it uh, in the past year. There are also two more skins being worked on, uh, which will be shown off next month. Ek has been very busy with animations this month, with the Antelope and William both having work done on them, on and off stream. Um, here are a few of the Antelope animations first of all. The Antelope animations have been finished and only the code is left to do this. Um, is the same 
uh, sorry, to do this, it's the same for the William. Uh, they've had their animations done and it's just ready for code. Scathe animations have been worked on as well and these look amazing. I cannot wait till this is in game hunting things down. My favourite animation so far is the threat animation which I think looks incredible. And finally, we have the An Ankypir. Anky I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like an anteater, <laughs> uh, which was an old AI that was made um, at the point, uh, well, sorry, at this point over a year ago now. Um, and now it's coming in line with our current art direction. So it looks a bit more crisp and um, suits the world a bit more. We'll share more about this creature, though, in the future, uh, as currently we're still working on... Um, mechanics and it's it's not really relevant to the uh, pre-alpha. Okay, moving on to world now. Noah has been hard at work with the new desert map, adding new locations such as the canyon, uh, which will stretch across most of the map along with a new waterfall oasis within the, um, uh, the canyon, I believe. And it does look very good from what I've seen of it so far. Um, we're also adding oil and tar pits. Um, these have been added in certain areas around the map which humans will use for different tools, weapons, and structures. These will be able to be substituted on other maps with things such as whale oil um, and some other secret things. We have also done some optimization on maps, so here is a comparison between the old version and the newer version. I think it turned out quite well. And finally, there are many other micro-updates that did not fit into certain categories, so we have updated the movement plugins we use. Uh, this is to reduce lag and increase the visual appearance of our creatures. Um, we've added a new consumption system um, for hunger and thirst, which should be more reactive and allows us to, uh, on the fly, swap creature diets, allowing us to easily add diets to specific creatures such as herbivore, carnivore, omnivore, etc. A dynamic camera system was also added so that the creatures now grow with the player. Uh, we also reworked attacks and attack animations making them feel better than they once were. We have finished the AI behavior for our antelopes and scathe and we're in the process of polishing their animations and adding them into our tech demo build but before we do that we want to make sure that the dragons are bug free so that the bugs don't just pile up and we can focus on one issue at a time. Uh, we've added new edibles such as berries and mushrooms around the map as we are preparing to add the Kirin. Um, we've had a, uh, a bunch of quality of life changes from optimization, animations, um, the fur upgrades on all creatures that have them and more. Um, water was also worked on and now interacts with dragons as it moves through creating ripples in the water. Um, we increased the resolution of the HUD assets as well, although they were moved by accident and this will be updated later on to put it more in the bottom right of the screen. Um, we also added the safe logout system which will allow dragons to log out after 60 seconds, although it will not save progress currently. Uh, the most recent large change is we've turned off weather mechanics, so it's just sunny with clouds and the day slash night cycle. This was done as we found that no matter what was done, weather would reduce uh, in performance by 10 to 20 FPS, which um, caused problems as you can imagine. So for now it's been disabled, but we plan on adding it back in the future once we have updated our Unreal Engine build and optimized weather more. So overall we're getting there uh, and March should be a big month for us. If you head over to our pre-alpha document in terms of animations, the Vulgan, Icy Crown, Antelope, William, Drone, and Scathe are finished. Code-wise, the Icy Vulgan are finished with the Antelope and Scathe almost there. So fingers crossed the progress keeps going on this way. Um, 
As I mentioned in the previous video, if um, any content creators want more info or want to get access, please come and message me, Clack Knight, over on our Discord. Um, if you want to grab access to our current tech demo build or just want to support us, head over to our Patreon page and become Wyvern tier or above. But please do not feel that you have to. For a little um, insight, though, to where the money goes, um, it goes into paying our developers, such as our programmers, animators and modelers, server costs, environmental assets, and a few other things. But thank you all so much for the support. I will reply to as many comments as possible, um, as I normally do in, well, all our content. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, afternoon, or evening. God, that, it just sounds so awkward when I say that at the end. I really need a better outro, so, you know, if you've got something, please just put it in the comments below. So, bye.